Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm Brandon. Welcome to Da Vinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide for drinking well and stinking pretty. As you have surmised by now, today we are going to talk about going to do a first impressions of the new Aaron Terrence Hughes collaboration with uh, Fragmental, and that is Smolder, as you can see right here. So, real quick backstory on this. When it first dropped, it went to Max Aroma in the United States. I tried to jump on a full um, 50 mil bottle, wasn't able to get it in time. I, I purchased uh, the 10 mil bottle as well as the 10 mil bottle of Tabac, which I am loving by the way, but we'll talk about that in a future date. I bought both of these immediately as soon as I could. Uh, anxiously awaited a tracking email. The next day, I got an email from Max Aroma, thought that it was a tracking email. It was not a tracking email. It was an unfortunate email telling me that um, basically they had sold too much and I wasn't gonna get one. So I, of course, because I also purchased tobacco, um, I sent them back an email and asked them, okay, when you guys restock, which they, in that previous email, they explained that they would restock later on, will I need to get on the website and repurchase um, Smolder or will I actually just basically, having paid for it already, will you guys just credit that and then send me both tobacco and Smolder when Smolder comes in? Basically just asking if it was gonna be a back order thing. They did not respond to me at all, uh, so I was left up in the air and I thought, okay, well, I guess I'm just not getting it at all. Lo and behold, on Friday, uh, bam, in the mail, here we go, I get Smolder and I get tobacco. So I waited all weekend, it's Monday now, I got rained out as you kinda you know, saw earlier, it's a little crappy out. I figured that this was a great time to do a first impression, so I'm gonna use this, uh, put this on as my scent of the day. I'm fresh and clean, just got out of the shower. I'm gonna also spray it on a test strip, probably come back and tell you kind of my initial, my extended first impressions later on today. This will not be a full review because I'm gonna definitely need to spend some time with this. Uh, Chris from Fragmental, uh, he, a lot of the stuff he likes, are, it's really in my wheelhouse, so I have no doubt that I'm going to enjoy this. Either way, really been looking forward to this, so I'm just without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. So we got a little on the wrist, and I'm gonna go ahead with the neck for, ooh, getting some niceness right out of the gate. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the test strip real quick. Couple sprays on there. This way I can just kind of subjectively test it. All right, right out of the gate. Let's see. Well, it sucks. It, the fragrance doesn't suck. Don't get me wrong. Uh, what sucks is that straight off the first spray, I am already enjoying the shit out of it. I am bummed that this is all I'm ever gonna get. <laughs> um, I do obviously need to test it out more, but my first initial thought, it has a little bit of smokiness. There is this little bit of powdery sweetness, some woodiness, definite tobacco. There is a smoke, but it's not super smoky. It's not super smoky like City on Fire or anything like that. That's a smoky ass fragrance. This, it's super blended and super smooth. So I don't actually have any other Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrances aside from now Tabac and this, and I do have um, Jasmine Narcotique. So that's the only thing that I have a basis of what there may or may not be any ATH DNA, really don't know, but I do love Jasmine Narcotique. So starting to open up a little bit and I'm getting, getting a little bit of leather, uh, just that slight stringentness that leather has, a little bit of, or maybe it's like, you know, kind of a green, to it. Damn. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. This is, like I said, without a doubt, I knew that this was going to be in my wheelhouse because of the types of fragrances that Chris loves. They're typically what I, you know, enjoy myself. And son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to obviously have to just check this out later on in the day and, you know, try to get more from it. This is Already off the, the first little bit, I can tell you that this is really complex and blended really well. So for me to give what I think is like a full, well-rounded review of this, I'm gonna have to spend 
more than a couple of days of wearing this to try to kind of break into it. It's one thing for me in fragrances is that I definitely get more of the complex and well-blended fragrances. They, they just constantly bring something new to the table. And there is such a smoothness about this. The edges aren't sharp. Yeah, powdery, but smooth, green, woody, tobacco. I wouldn't say animalic, but it's right on that edge, just in terms of slight dirtiness to it. But when I say animalic, I'm more talking like that leathery sort of vibe. And I, yeah, I, this has a nice leather and tobacco and sweet smoke, incense, resinous, shit. Smolder, beautiful name for this. I love it. And this, oh, this little bastard is gonna probably go quick. I will have to hold on to the last little vestiges of it. Anyway, uh, I am kind of going off a little further than I wanted to for just a first impressions. I'm gonna go wear it throughout my day. I'm gonna go hang out and do my things and I'll come back in a few hours and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what's what. Okay, so here we go. Um, I have uh, done some work around the house. It's several several hours later. Uh, I obviously have changed, <laughs> uh, but on my neck and on my hand, man, this is going strong. This is really, really intense. After, uh, I guess, probably five, six hours, I think, at this point, what I'm mostly getting is still a bit of a resinous sweetness tobacco and very tactile um, greenish leather is kind of in the background. It almost makes me think that maybe there's oud in this composition. I don't know if there is or not, but I'm getting that kind of quality vibe. What I noticed throughout uh, the dry down as it started to kind of do its dive into the uh, dry down, there was a lot of ins and outs of some of these notes. Again, like I said, this is why I want to take a good deal of time with this to really familiarize myself with everything, try to catch everything before I do a full review. Sweet resins, tobacco, leather, soft powdery, and I get kind of a beeswax tactile feel. Uh, it reminds me of raw beeswax. If any of you have had a chance to smell that, you get kind of what I'm, what I'm getting at. Uh, makes me picture and see in my mind uh, the actual little legs that uh, on the bees as they carry the pollen to the hive because it has this slight animalistic feel it's not it's not fecal it's not you know dirty but it has you know bees are creatures and they have uh, a certain animalic smell to them again not fecal or anything to that matter not uh, maybe it's like a little bit of a fur it's like you can somehow transfer the, the hair, the little hairs on their legs that carry the pollen, to a smell. It's a little odd, I know, but um, yeah, and that's on my skin, and my skin typically eats stuff really quickly, especially uh, on my hands, and it's been going strong all day. On this strip, all those, those first notes are nice and bright, and the beeswax aspect, the beeswax feel, it's very, very still present on this test strip. Wow, really impressed by Smolder. Um, Mr. Terrence Hughes and Mr. Wilkinson, you guys, uh, your collaboration together was freaking amazing. I'm, I'm digging it. So Smolder, Aaron Terrence Hughes, Fragmental. Uh, I'm excited to explore more of the Aaron Terrence Hughes line. Uh, I think I'll have to get myself a nice little discovery kit especially now that they seem to be more in stock um, on Max Aroma. Uh, when I was talking about the miscommunication between Max Aroma and myself, I don't know, I can't say that it was Max Aroma's fault. Uh, there is a possibility that my email system was screwy somehow. All in all, everything came through. I got what I paid for and that's all that matters. It did take a little bit more time, but here it is. Smolder, looking forward to spending more time with this. I hope that I have been informative for you guys. Um, I'd say, I hope that I've helped you make a decision on Smolder. 
uh, whether or not you want to go get a you know a small bottle of it and try it out but i'm pretty sure it's sold out at this point we can only hope that Aaron Terrence Hughes and Chris Wilkinson will continue to work together, whether it be with this or maybe another fragrance, I don't know. I think that they've got a good connection because this is the bomb. So again, thanks guys for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed my short first impressions of Smolder, not so short first impressions. Hope you are taking care of yourselves and each other. Hope you're having a great week, great weekend. Don't forget to keep calm, stink pretty. See you next time.